Listen, man. I'm about to ask you some questions. It's gonna get some. It's gonna make some people love or hate you. You know, some people love or hate you, or they love to hate you, either or, right? But everybody, it's just opinions. You've been in this city for a long time. You got your scale. I'm giving you a scale from one to ten, as far as in readiness, overall skill. I'm gonna name some artists in the city. I mean, they can't do them but respect your opinion. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. You know, when, like, like as my when I was going through my grind as an artist, I mean, you you was on deck plenty of times. I had a whole lot of criticism. You feel me? I, but I had to learn to accept that so I could grow. Sometimes people were right, sometimes they was wrong. But either way, I took a look at it. You know what I'm saying? To see was there something I needed to fix in that area or whatever. But either way, we're gonna get to it. One to ten. This your scale. Let's go with the Hoffler boys. All right. Before I go there, I wanna I wanna interact on what something that you said. As far as when you was doing what you was doing, and the criticism that you got. Then I'm gonna go to my to what you said. Like when I heard your music, I understood it. I understood your flow. I understood your delivery. And I understood what you were saying because I understood where you came from. Right. So that was the difference. I didn't. I didn't look at it and say he can't rap. That's not no. Because if you go in with the beat, then you can rap. Some people may say, "Oh, he can't rap," but I understood. So that's my answer to your question. I understood you. Now, as far as the MCs, the the rappers in in the area with the Hoffler boys, one to ten, where they at? One to ten, where they at? Ten, ten being the highest, one being the lowest. I'm talking about like power, rating, like ranking. I would rating, not ranking, rating. I would say, I would say an eight. Okay, now when you give a number, now I'm about to hit you with this. I'm about to ask you why you say an eight. What what can make them a ten? Them back working again. Okay. You know when them two when them two together you hear great music. You know, like I told Ro one time before, like Ro is the is the grit of the streets. He's the corner in the most grimiest hole. He's 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 the most grittiest person. So when I hear him rap, he's giving you real Suffolk lingo. You get what I'm saying? Like he's telling you about shot houses. He's telling you about the candy lady. You like he's giving you real Suffolk lingo. Reese, Mr. Virginia, he just giving you his pain. He giving you all of it. So when you got both of them together, it's a hell of a combination. So that's why I say that. I just want to see them back working again. It ain't no disrespect or no last to them. It's just that I know when they together, it's a hundred percent. Okay, that's respect. I can look, kind of agree with you in that sense, too. Let's go with, hmm, Yacht the Don. Yacht, he was something special. And uh, we had this conversation, I had this conversation with a mentor of mine. He was, he was something special. Like, and no bragging, but like, when, when BMG was doing what they was doing, that was something special. After that, when y'all came and did, it was just something special. So to rate him, I would rate him a nine. And the only reason why I'm rating him a nine because he's not here. If he was here, you would see the pressure and you would see what, you know what I'm saying, he gonna give you, you know what I'm saying? So I just say a nine. This is because he's not here. Okay. All right, let's go with, hmm. Chuck Black. I'm gonna go and give Chuck Black. I'm gonna give him a. I'm gonna give him an eight and a half. And the reason why I say that, and also Ready, both of them, because what they did with that how high, that was something unique. What they done, and I felt like if they would have kept on going with it, what they was going with it'll have been even more unique. Chuck Black, it's like he take it serious to me, but then it's like, he 
he don't. But when he get in that zone, he in that zone. You know what I'm saying? And he give you hell of a great music. Like, he got a lot of great music. But it's like, right now, it's like, it just seems like it's something that just ain't pushing him to make him just go hard like he once was. You know what I'm saying? But I give him an eight and a half. Right. It may be a whole lot of new artists in the city that I might not be in top with. But, you know, I'm just throwing something out the head. You know what I'm saying? Some people that I know you would have some intel on because we, you know, been around them together for a while. Um... You know what? I'm not gonna um I'm not gonna hold this list to any type of standard, so I'm just gonna say anybody because we ain't gonna go with levels of you know what I'm saying achievement or nothing. But I do wanna say let's go to Bonnie Love. What do you think about Bonnie Love? Bonnie Love, I'm gonna get her a ten. And the reason why I say I'm gonna get Bonnie Love a ten is because I just seen a uh, clip on Facebook the other day. I guess it was like a some like a um a battle type thing with a bunch of females. But I've been I've been dealing with Bonnie Love for a minute, so I've been, you know what I'm saying, rocking out with her for a minute. She she really spit and when she she give you that that adrenaline that it'd be just so crazy, you know what I'm saying? That her stage performing and everything is just it's it's just retarded. So I give her a I give her a ten. She do her thing though. Shout out to Bonnie Love, yo. Okay. B minus. Oh uh, man, you can't say B minus without saying Hollywood. So I'ma give them a ten. And the reason why I say that, the same thing like I said with Bonnie Love, like they grind. You know what I'm saying? They 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 really grind and they they got a hell of a stage performance. You know what I'm saying? And they just do a lot. You know what I'm saying? So they putting in work. You know what I'm saying? I hear them so. I'm going to give him a 10, too. Okay. Rich and Rich just came home. What do you think about Rich? I'm going to give Rich a 10, too, because I already know what he get ready to do. You know, so he ready to go back in and he ready to go hard. You know what I'm saying? And Rich, for him to be, he got a lot to prove. You know what I'm saying? He got a lot to prove because he's white. And that's no, and I'm, that's no disrespect to nobody. You know what I'm saying? No color, no race, or nothing like that. But to me, what I see, I see he got a lot to prove because, uh, because he's you know white. So Richie is a nice MC. Like he crazy. You know what I'm saying? He crazy. So I, I get Richard ten. I get Richard ten. He putting in work. Hmm. Let's go to the west side. What are we talking about with Boss Don? Boss Don. Oh uh, man, I seen Boss Don got them at motherfucking grow. You know what I'm saying? So I know what he, I know what he capable of doing. You know what I'm saying? Him and the whole FGE. So I, I'm gonna I'm give Boss Don. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna give him an eight and a half just because he's not here, and I haven't heard much. You know what I'm saying? But I know when he come, I know what he gonna do. So I give him an eight and a half right now. But shout out to Boss Don. He be home soon too. Yeah. I can't name every artist in the city. I just been naming a few. Like, I mean, you can get some honorable mentions. Give me some names of somebody else, the other people you think working. I don't want to lead all the questions. You know what I'm saying? Give me, give me some. I'm, I'm seeing Juvie working. Okay. Shout out to Juvie. I'm seeing Juvie definitely, working. Um, definitely. I'm seeing, a, I'm, seeing, I'm seeing a couple of cats working. You know what I'm saying? I don't really know their names, but I've been seeing. I'm seeing a couple of little cats, young cats from out the city working. You know, but far as the main ones, like, they we just talked about like yeah they doing their thing that's no shout out no disrespect to none of them for how i said the numbers are you know what i'm saying everybody is working you know what i'm saying that's just the way i feel like you know but with the hoffer boys i feel like if they together and do what they do they're gonna give you great music i feel like if chuck black just go ahead and just do what he do him and him and reddit they're gonna give you great music so Regardless if I said an eight and a half or a nine, that's just nothing. You know what I'm saying? That's just because of what I see. You know what I'm saying? But far as what they give you, every artist that we talked about, they give you great music. No one is whack. Right. Um. So what what was your plan with this video? I mean, it was just to show the world and to show people that, you know what I'm saying, you can make a video without violence, without promoting guns, without promoting any of that, you know what I'm saying? And that's what I wanted to cater to, you know what I'm saying? I wanted to show them, you know what I'm saying, the fun that we was having back in the days, you know what I'm saying? To let them see 
the visual of how we was doing it back then, like it was all fun and love. You know what I'm saying? You know, you was there. You know, you you seen it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Suffer Young King is just not. I'm not talking about myself. I'm talking about every individual from Suffolk that was doing something that meant something at that point in time. They all suffered as young king. You are suffered as young king. You know what I'm saying? You gotta understand what I mean by that. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of people from Suffolk, there's a lot of made guys from Suffolk that's Suffolk's young kings, man. Right. So it it is I just try to make it. I want my music to be. When you listen to my music, like to be honest with you, that song is is old. Right. You did what I'm saying? But it's timeless. And that's what I like to make. I like to make timeless music. I want to make something that when you listen to it, you can go back and play it again and again and again. And like the response that I'm getting from the music, from the video, from the song, people telling me it's taking them back. You know what I'm saying? One person told me it made them cry to see the beginning of the video. You know what I'm saying? And that's the type of stuff that I like to hear. You know what I'm saying? They make me feel good because it let me know that I did So I put in a great body of work for them to see something so great and they see it and they appreciate it. Right. So mainly what you're saying is, majority of what you're doing is, is for the love. It's just who you are. That's what you're doing. Expressing what's going on. That's what it is, bro. That's what I'm doing. I'm expressing who I am. You know what I'm saying? It's for the love. I want to have fun. I want to take it back to when people was having fun with music. Like, music wasn't all about violence it wasn't about that you know when, when we would listen to music you know they they spoke about what was going on and in their area and they broke it down and that's what made it good music when you listen to rock when you listen to big daddy when you listen to jay you listen to Nas, you listen to big they broke down their barrier of where they live at and the struggle and the pain of what they saw it's different from how we may see how new york live it's different from how New York may see how Virginia niggas live, but we right. go through the same struggle, you know what I'm saying? So when you listen to the music back then, they was giving you that. They gave you good party music, they gave you good music that made you feel good, they gave you music that, that motivated you to get out and go do something. Now the music just so, let's, let's kill them, we're gonna slide, we're gonna ride, we're gonna kill the ops, and we smoking on this, and we smoking on, you know, it, it's, and that ain't what I'm trying to make. I'm trying to make music where people can really appreciate that. So in closing, like, is there anybody in the city that you would like to work with? You mean in our city or just in the seven cities, period? Well, I mean, well, if you want to go as far as to say the seven... No, you know what? Tell me in the city and then tell me in the seven cities. Well, in this city... Bossed up. Okay. Shout out to Bossed Up. Yeah, in this city, Bossed Up. Far as in the seven cities, Young Money. I fuck with Young Money Young, you know, because his music is, I can relate to it. I know what he talking about. I know where he coming from. He give you that old, that old era. So, you know what I'm saying? I can relate to it. So, right now, that would be the person I would work with. You know what I'm saying? Fires in the seven cities. Young money, yarn. Shout out to yarn too. Okay, if somebody wanted to find you on social medias, can we get your links? Where they can find you at? Instagram, they can find me, SYK underscore Treasure BMG. On Facebook, it's SYK Treasure BMG. That's what's up. SYK Treasure. Y'all go follow him. He making moves in the city. Go check out that video. It's on YouTube. Go check out my song. It's on all major platforms. Suffolk's Young King, SYK. Y'all know what it is, man.